If you want to stop using the white border around your images and you want to use something more like this, I'm going to show you how you can create duotone outlines in Adobe Express. If you don't believe me about the duotone video cutout, here's a preview. So let's get into creating this. I'm going to start with a fresh graphic so that you can see the process. So I have my content here and all I want to do is upload from my device. You want to make sure that it's a short video because it's going to take longer to process if you have a really long video. So I like to keep it between three to five seconds. My video has uploaded. Now all I want to do is remove the background. So I'm going to click on remove background. It's going to do its magic on the back end. Once the background is removed from this video, I'm just going to resize this and place it around where I want it to be. So I'm going to adjust the sliders here. That looks pretty good. Now here's the magic. You want to select your image and duplicate it. So you can either just use your keyboard shortcuts or do command C, command V on your Mac keyboard. And now we can see it on our timeline here that the image or the video has been duplicated. I'm going to select one of these videos and go to effects. You're going to give it a duotone and you can select one of these custom ones. Now I'm going to actually enlarge this a little bit so that when I move this to the back, it peeks behind my head or the area. So it kind of creates that outline for me. And there's a couple of things that I can do to make this a little bit better. I can go back to my adjustments and sharpen that background one so it looks a little bit more crisp. I'm going to select my video. Then now I have this little pop up. I'm going to select duplicate. And now you can see that it shows up right behind that image. So what you want to do is try to realign it to that existing one that we just duplicated and give it a different duotone effect. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to add an adjustment here for a blur. So it kind of just blurs a little bit more, not so much of the sharpen and adjust it just slightly. You don't want to give a halo, but what I'm going to do is once I bring this down a little bit, you're seeing how the layer from the other duotone is peaking and that's how you get a multicolored duotone for this result. 